The UN peacekeeping force in Lebanon has warned that the escalation in hostilities along Israel's northern border could widen. Sarah Hirat has more from the Israeli-Lebanon border. Well, we've come to Israel's northern border with Lebanon, where an estimated 65,000 Israelis received an order from the government to leave their homes. And that's because of the barrage of rockets coming from Hezbollah across the border in Lebanon. In the last few minutes, we heard outgoing artillery fire from Israel in to Lebanon and all along this border there are plenty of checkpoints to ensure that no one enters what has now become a military zone but we're going to go and have a look at some of those evacuated towns okay we've just heard some sirens and some rockets there coming over from Lebanon. You can see on the hill there. And at the top, that was a mortar that you just saw. That area you'll see is blackened where it's been torched by previous attacks there. And that just gives you a sense of what an easy target this place is. This is the town of Shlomi, home to 8,000 residents. But as you can see, it's a ghost town incredibly derelict. No one's in the playgrounds, the cars are here, but the schools are closed and so are the shops and the windows shuttered on either side just down this road here. There's also concern that many of the businesses will go bankrupt with a lot of farmland here. There's no one to pick the produce. All of this is Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warns that if Hezbollah wants an all-out war, Beirut will become another Gaza. I just want to give you an idea where Shlomi is. It's right next to that border that separates Israel from Lebanon, which runs along the top of that hill. And in the last couple of years, Israel has fortified its border along the north by reinforcing those walls, building more watchtowers and surveillance as well, not just to protect these border towns, but also to protect its troops. And while residents here say that they're used to Hezbollah rockets, what they're not used to is the idea and fear of being infiltrated the same way those southern towns were infiltrated on October the 7th. And that's what worries them about coming back home. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera, Shlomi.